story time. So check me out. Many of you may know that I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease back in 2016. And let me tell you, it's been a long, rough ride. Real disrespectful. See, Crohn's just came and smacked me in the face out of nowhere. They say it's hereditary, but where? Ain't nobody over here got it. It has showed up, and it has showed out, and the struggle commenced. But let me tell you what the Lord did for you, girl. Y'all had a colonoscopy back in 2016, and it showed that I had active disease in my large and small intestine, lined with ulcers, in addition to Crohn's. Great. Right. It's beautiful. The pain is so real and it's so frustrating because nobody can see what you're dealing with. This past Tuesday, I went to the emergency room because like I said, I thought I was dying. I thought I was dead, but I said, no, I'm a thug. I can do this. I can drive myself to the emergency room. It looked like drive, pull over, vomit, drive again, vomit, keep going. Gotta get to the emergency room because I feel like I'm about to die. The pain so excruciating. Finally, I'm sitting there, finally get seen. Being admitted after six hours, y'all, the pain was so real, I couldn't even stand up straight. I was like running to the emergency room to get inside after I parked. Yo, it was just too real. I, could, I couldn't do nothing, I couldn't complain, I couldn't act the food to try to get seen faster. It hurts to complain. I literally sat in a wheelchair, laid my head back, and prayed to the Lord, help me get through this. And then I fell asleep. Finally! I was admitted, I was seen. Three doctors, three of them, told me that I was gonna have to have surgery. Sure, adamant. They were convinced that I had fistulas in my intestines. The excruciating pain after the CT scan, they were worried and very convinced that they were gonna have to cut me. They came and asked me if I wanted to, you know, be resuscitated if I died. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I kinda need to come back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my baby just turned five yesterday. Anywho, lucky for me, I had one doctor out of the three of them that was very adamant. He was like, you know what? What we're gonna do, we're just gonna Take a little closer look. We're going to make sure we get you on these meds and these antibiotics and this uh, steroid here. And we're going to make sure we get that inflammation down before we jump the gun. We want to make sure if we go in there that it's precise. You understand? So in the meantime, you can't have anything by mouth. It's very important. Don't eat nothing. Because we need to make sure that we give the time to heal so we can go in there and look and make sure we actually have to do surgery. Understand what I'm saying? We just want to make sure we do this right. Okay. Cool, dog. Cool. Brrr. Let's see, babe, what's up in the hospital? I need you to pray. Ma, granny, all y'all. <laughs> Everybody, we need to pray. Surgery posed a bigger threat because let me tell you why. Typically, when people with Crohn's disease get surgery, they have to keep getting surgery because they have to keep correcting an issue. Like a never ending issue. I ain't trying to be about 50 still getting cut. I ain't got time for that. I don't want to come out in your bag. That's unnecessary. Four. I can no, I'm good. Needless to say, finally got in there. Dealt with it, didn't eat, I was good, I wasn't complaining, unbothered, nonchalant self. Friday comes, it's the big day. I'm like, oh my, great, I'm gonna be in a room full of old people with a camera up my butt. Great, it's my favorite part. Let me tell you how dope God is, yo. That colonoscopy came back and showed no active disease in my large intestine. None, not none, now, not now. Now, active, not, not one active disease, bruh. I sent it. I know it was there. I know it was just there on Tuesday, but on Friday it was gone. See how prayer works? Then on top of that, my small intestine shows mild, very mild. Mild as in, I don't have to get shots in my stomach with Humira. What? What? So you mean to tell me after I thought I just about died, was throwing up bow, and then on top of that, my, my intestines were entangled, all of a sudden it shows up, it's, it's, it's not about my intestine at all? What? You cannot tell me there is not a God, honey. There is a God. I'm so thrilled. I just wanted to share this, y'all, because it is legit. Like, I just seen it on Tuesday. I know it was there. I felt it. And then on top of that, it just disappeared. God is so dope. I don't cross every T and dot every I. I have a lot of work to do. I have not arrived. I know I need God, but let me tell you, God is so dope. I had to share. Share. Repost. Share it all. The Lord is good. Yes, he is.